Hi, everyone. It's Megan Shamas, the Senior Director of Marketing at the FIDO Alliance. And I'm really excited for our next topic, which is making pass keys available to large consumer bases. So we hear a lot about um, deploying pass keys across different markets, enterprise, government, consumer. And for real, um, pass keys, synced pass keys were introduced in order to drive large scale for consumers. So this is a great topic for us to be talking about. And we have actually the perfect person here to talk to us about that. And that's Yash Padodia, who is a senior manager for authentication at Amazon. Yash has led Amazon's recent rollout of pass keys. And as we know, Amazon is one of the biggest consumer service providers in the world. Amazon is not only that, but very involved in the FIDO Alliance. Yash is a frequent speaker at FIDO Alliance events. Um, however, this is the first time that we've actually sat down and talked to each other um, since Amazon rolled out pass keys. So there's really a lot to talk about. So welcome, Yash. Um, if you could say hi, introduce yourself to our summit audience today. Hey, sure. Super excited to be here, Megan. Thanks for inviting me for the talk. Um, for those who don't know me, I'm Yash. I'm the Senior Manager for Authentication at Amazon. Um, anytime you're able to log in smoothly to our Amazon accounts, whether it's to purchase for your holiday needs or use a streaming service like Amazon Music or to use Prime Video, any of your um, healthcare needs with new offerings like Amazon Pharmacy, you go to our services. And um, I lead a team of seven senior product managers for this. Um, super excited to be here, Megan. Looking forward to the session. Over to you. Oh, that's great. And it, it's thank you for the reminder of just the scale of services that Amazon provides. Um, I think sometimes we lose sight of that and just how many times consumers are going to Amazon.com probably per day just to do different activities. So really the way that they sign in is super important. Um, so it's a really a sort of obvious question. And if you've seen my conversations with Yash in the past, um, we've talked a little bit about um, Amazon's position on passwords and authenticating users and Yash's uh, opinions on this. But just for the sake of our new audiences, um, it's sort of obvious. But why do you see pass keys as something that makes sense for Amazon? Yeah, sure. And let me take you guys back a few thousand years for to answer this question. Um, growing up, like we all would have read stories like Alibaba and the 40 Thieves, and we would have remember, remembered a uh, catchphrase from it, which was open sesame, which Alibaba used to open a cave and got um, super well lived through it. Now, open sesame was a password, and that just gives us perspective as to how old the concept and the technology for passwords uh, is. Uh, computers were invented in the 1960s, and the first password, the first online password, was created just a year later. And we feel like the world has moved on so much. We're talking about Gen AI advances. We're talking about uh, electric cars. Yet we are still using the same old passwords to power those technologies, which has its own disadvantages, um, mostly on the security and the CS aspect of it. Um, passwords are relatively easier for a bad actor to crack. Um, at the same time, it might be cumbersome for good actors like us to remember all our online passwords. Um, and hence, it's probably a good time to look at new technology, invent new technologies. And passkeys provide a great segue to that. Um, over the last one year, we have launched passkeys on, on Amazon. Um, if you go to your account and login and security page on Amazon, you'll probably see an option to uh, set up a passkey on Amazon. And what we have learned in this process is that passkeys help customers authenticate quickly, and it makes it easier for them to use their Amazon account. Um, so yeah, with that, uh, we believe it's a great CX. And we have seen that in our data that uh, customers who are use password, uh, who use passkey, log in much more easy, easily and with less time consuming as compared to passwords or legacy authentication methods like 2SV OTPs. Um, and yeah, uh, 
we at Amazon, we obsess over the customer experience. Uh, one of our core principles, customer obsession, uh, it literally talks about how we obsess over how to make our customers' lives better and easier every day with new and improved products and services. And Passkey fits in perfectly there. Any big organization, consumer facing, would want to um, improve their customer lives in their authentication journey, should definitely explore pass keys and um, take advantage of the new tech which we have built at Fido. That's amazing. And I, I really appreciate the, the fact that you mentioned the, the CX advantage and a little bit of anecdotes on what you're seeing from your customers that are signing in with pass keys, because we've seen and have reported, have public, like on FidoAlliance.org, similar um, feedback from large consumer service providers like Mercari, for example, um, has, has put out some really nice data around what they're seeing in terms of speed to sign in versus passwords and SMS OTPs plus um, sign in success, which of course, if you're you're dealing with a platform that your platform is folks making transactions, of course, you want them to be signed in successfully so that they can then do that, not do it somewhere else, right? Um, so I really, I think that's a really important piece to, to really drive home because I think a lot of the time the FIDO and pass keys, really the messages around security. And of course, pass keys are phishing resistant by nature, but the, the CX advantage is really huge on the consumer side. Um, yeah, so that's sure. great. And you, um, you mentioned you've rolled out pass keys on browsers, iOS and Android. So that seems largely complete. Can you talk a little bit about Amazon strategy for rollout in terms of the technical strategy, um, whether it was by uh, like what decisions you you made there um, and what the status is? It sounds like you're pretty much rolled out, but is there um any more to do in terms of the technical implementation yeah sure um the way to think about rolling out pass keys is there are three core flavors to it one is the pass key api on the web which can be used on desktop browsers and mobile browsers the second is the pass key api on ios apps and the third is pass key apis on android apps um so if you're a customer facing apps, um, or, or if you have a customer facing service, which is live on all the three apps. Um, here's what we did at Amazon and probably um, other companies can follow suit is we had one of our largest customer base using browsers and the browser API was the core foundational stone work we had to do. So that's the first rollout we went with. We launched browsers, um, in our first phase, our second phase was iOS cause that's where the second set, second biggest cohort of customers were. And lastly, we launched on Android. Um, all the three are launched now. Um, if you are on a device which supports Passkey, um, you can go on your Amazon account, login and security page, and you will see an option to enroll Passkeys. Um, yeah, so, I, any any company wanting to do the pass key rollout, I'll encourage to think about just where your general customer base is and what sort of effort it, does it take to roll them out and do a trade off there. That's what we did at Amazon for the last one year, and we have it live now for our billions of customers. That's amazing. So key takeaway from that: go to where your customer base is and or evaluate you know, where the biggest lift is going to be and, you know, find a, a happy, a happy path from there. Is that fair? Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Great. Um, so technical implementation, uh, the steps and sort of your, your journey, what's, what's next? What is, what is Amazon focusing on now and, and soon and future with regards to pass keys? Yeah. So now that we have pass keys rolled out already, it's available as a feature, but um, we don't believe there's enough awareness of pass keys within our customer base. So that's our goal for the next one year, at least. It's one of our key goals at Amazon. 
to drive awareness and increase pass key adoption amongst our customer base. Um, we have seen that it works wonders for customers who adopt it. And uh, our core focus for the next one year would be to ensure more customers are aware of this feature. Um, we like to reach the customers where they are and educate them on the benefits of using pass keys, whether it's the CX benefits and all the security benefits um, and get them to uh, try out the feature. And if they like it, they can enroll into it. Um, that's what primarily we'll be focusing on for the next one year. Um, and yeah, it's one of our key goals at Amazon. And we'll continue on, on this journey. We don't believe we'll get a big adoption number over the next one year. This will be a gradual process to educate customers and help get them aware. And although one thing I'll call out is if a customer is using pass keys on Amazon, um, it's the same human being who's interacting on other online services too. So the probability of that customer knowing what a pass key is and using it on different websites is, it just increases significantly. And we are excited to spearhead this effort at Amazon to gain, to help custom, to help humans on earth gain awareness of what pass keys are. Yeah, I, I love that point. The point is that this is in, in Fido Alliance, of course, we're an association of, of many members and many, service providers that are uh, providing consumer facing services. And I think there's a agreement with what you just said, which that uh, is a community effort by, from all of us to educate consumers to, from again, you know, going to amazon.com, which most folks do very regularly, learning about pass keys there goes so long when, so far when you're on, you know, XYZ other consumer site and it prompts you to send a, you know, add a pass key. You say, oh, well, I did that on Amazon. That's the same, the same thing. I, I know what that is. And I think the learning curve can be short if if we sort of all work together to provide that sort of consistent first learning um, for the consumer when they when they're first introduced to it. Yeah, for sure. And and we're only seeing customers. Loving it. One of our, uh, I'll just add to your point, Megan. One of our, uh, one of our consideration which we had at Amazon is that most likely the early adopters will love it, but we are seeing even the uh, customers who are flowing in now, even they are loving it. So it's not just a product for early stage technologists. Um, it's also we believe a product which is being loved by. The masses, so that's what makes it more exciting about pass keys and the sync aspect of it, which makes it a much better authenticator as compared to legacy forms like security keys or twisty, which worked great for early adopters and for people who work in tech, but probably not for an average layman. Um, so that's a big added advantage of pass keys or other methods which we are seeing in our data. I love that because so who who would have ever thought that any any consumer would love the way they sign into an account, right? Um, yeah, uh, we'll make a T-shirt. Yash says consumers love pass keys, and I, that's really good to hear because it's true. Though um, most of the technologies that have have been offered in the past have layered on, you know, the the flawed password, of course, and then. You know, you have things like FIDO security keys, which are great for high assurance use cases, enterprise scenarios, you know, prosumers who are very invested in their own security and things like, you know, SMS OTPs and, and authenticator apps that are, um, you know, frankly, have never had high uptake from consumers because they don't want the extra headache of, of, you know, adding another thing or adding more time to their sign in. So having something that's faster, and also more secure. Uh, it's just it's nice to hear that you're seeing that in your data because we um, we of course love love pass keys here at Fido, so we're glad to see that consumers love it too. So in that regard, um, I know you you mentioned a couple things, and I know that it's sort of anecdotal from what you know you've you've seen in the bit since you've been rolled out. But you know you mentioned a little bit of speed of sign in. Um, the appreciation that, that consumers have for it. 
Is there anything else that you would share with regard to anecdote or consumer feedback that around the uptake of pass keys at Amazon that um, you would like to share? Maybe that surprised you. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the things which I so slight, sort of probably hinted at with surprised us was that we were really thinking that we would hit a certain customer base threshold. Let's put up a random number that one the initial 1 million customers love it. And after that, it's sort of lukewarm. Um, but we didn't see that. We actually saw that even customers who are adopting it later in the stage of uh, adoption, they are loving the product. And uh, Passkeys has increased and improved uh, uh, signing success rate and also reduced the time taken. I can't go into details in terms of how much, uh, but we are seeing the effect and Passkeys is helping us achieve that. Um, um, yeah. That's great. I am um, that. Yeah. So that is a really great point to make that, you know, that you kind of think, oh, well, early adopters are probably the folks that maybe have heard about it or are more tech savvy um, and those that come along later. But if it's, you know, if they're equally um, adopting and, and using and, and happily. So um, that's such a good, it's just at this point, having good indicators of success is it's just amazing. Um, we're still at a pretty early stage of these mass rollouts. So I really, really appreciate you sharing that with us. Um, so we can kind of wrap up. Um, I do want to ask you one other thing, which is, so we, you know, our audience today and our audiences in general are typically, you know, the folks just like you that are looking at FIDO to deploy FIDO um, and pass keys, they might be in the early stage, they might be somewhere in the middle, um, they might be going across the finish line. But I do think that that first part, which is folks that are in the discovery stage, uh, still have a lot of questions around, you know, how to actually do this. So what I would ask you is if you were, you know, you had, you were standing in a room with a bunch of consumer relying parties like yourself, is there one thing or two things that you would really want them to take away with regard to deploying pass keys? Sure. Yeah. If I'm in a room with them, um, consumer facing execs who are at the deployment, who are at the discovery stage, um, one thing I'll really encourage them to focus on would be to think of their matrix. What are the key matrix they really care about? Is it signing success rate? Is it time taken to authenticate? Is it uh, account takeovers or the number of times a bad actor is getting into customer accounts? Uh, get get your matrix sorted and just think if passkeys make sense for any or all of these metrics. The answer in most cases will be yes, it does make sense. And that's what we are seeing at Amazon that passkey is helping us improve not just one, not just two, but all of our matrix which we track in the authentication journey. And that's what makes Passkey so special. It's not perfect, but I have personally not seen uh, Authenticator better than Passkey suited for mass adoption. So if you're a consumer facing um, a company who has a big customer base, definitely explore this option and think hard of your matrix and which matrix do Passkey move. The most likely answer would be it moves most of them in the right direction. and. That's the great thing about Basque, which I think we should take away from our implementation. So Yash, thank you so much for taking the time for this conversation. Um, I know it's the first time we sat down and talked since you rolled out. Just, I, I think I forgot to say congratulations. Um, this is a, a tremendous achievement. And you know, I think you're, you're doing a great thing for Amazon's customer base and really appreciate you being here to help further adoption by, by talking about this with us and our audience today. So thank you so much. Hey, thanks, Megan. Super appreciate this uh, chat and super happy to, uh, on behalf of the Amazon, to partner with Fido Alliance and get this um, new age authentication method out to our customers. Our customers love it. We love it. Uh, hopefully, we'll, you'll see more of us and let's partner more on adoption too going forward. That's great. Thank you, Yash.